ang karunungan ay kapangyarihan. Let's put that power to the test here on K-Check! Hello everyone, I'm Jules Gia. At ako naman po si Attorney Gabby Concepcion with another season of teaching and learning here on KCHEP. Patuloy pa rin ang paghahanap natin ng mga gustong sanayin at palawakin ang brain power nila through competition. Alamin natin kung kaya nila ang brain workout na inihanda natin for them this season. Samahan nyo kami until the final week of competition which will reveal our newest KCHEP champion. Ang apat nating daily winners ang dadaan sa ating karunungan check sa araw na ito. With a score of 240 points, daily winner Owa is a student athlete whose hobbies are playing volleyball, walkathon, and listening to K-pop groups from YGE. Earl, on the other hand, is a geography student who likes to listen to music. His current favorites are Adrian Lenker and Sufyan Stevens. During his episode, he scored 220 points. Up next, we have Alexa. Alexa is a fourth-year BA Theater Art student in UP Diliman who scored 115 points in the daily round. She likes to binge-watch sitcoms, drink coffee, eat a lot, and enjoys having time for herself. And finally, coming in with a score of 110 points, Samu is a second-year Lasallian student who is fond of activism talk and gathering collectibles. Above all, Samu is a feminist who believes women should have rights. These four will be competing under the watchful eyes of today's K-Check panel of experts. First, we have Professor Mitzi Reyes, former Dean of the College of Fine Arts, UP Diliman. We also have Professor Ricky Nelias of the Institute of Chemistry, also in UP Diliman. And last but not least, Professor Luisa De Leon Bulinao, former Chair of the Department of History, UP Diliman. At ngayon, contestants, narito na ang first round which is also your first opportunity to earn points. Buzz in, but wait till you're acknowledged before you answer para hindi sayang ang effort. Each correct answer is worth 10 points. Let's, Let's begin. begin! Question number one. In what ancient civilization did philosophers Aristotle, Plato, and Socrates live? Earl. Greek. The correct answer is Greek civilization, K-Check. Question number two. What is the nickname of the team from Los Angeles that won the first NBA in-season tournament in 2023? Samu. Los Angeles Lakers. Los Angeles Lakers is correct, K-Check. Question number three. What large island lends its name to the title of a 2005 animated DreamWorks film about a group of zoo animals trying to survive in the wild? Earl. Madagascar. Madagascar is correct. Key check. Question number four. What do you call a female sheep? The correct answer is you. Question number five. Tigger and Piglet are close friends of which teddy bear created by Earl? Winnie the Pooh. Let me proceed. Created by A.A. Mill. The correct answer is Winnie the Pooh. Okay, check. Question number six. French fashion designer Gabrielle Chanel was known by what nickname? The correct answer is Coco. Question number seven. Stag is the male and doe is the female of what animal? Earl. Deer. Deer is correct. Key check. Question number eight. What word may mean a large solid piece of rock or wood or a square of urban... Samu. Boulder. Boulder is wrong. Let me proceed. Or a square of urban land bordered by four streets. Alexa. Cul de sac. Cul de sac is wrong. Anyone can steal? Earl. Slab. Slab is wrong. May time pa to steal? The correct answer is block. Question number nine. The title of which number one hit song 
by Camila Cabello is the name of the city of her birth. Havana. I did not recognize you, so you cannot accept that answer. Samu. Havana. Havana is correct. K check. Question number 10. In geometry, what is the perimeter in centimeters of a rectangle having dimensions 20 centimeters and 10 centimeters? Samu. 60. 60 is correct. K check. Question number 11. Justin Pierre Trudeau became the Prime Minister of which North American country in 2015? Owa. Canada. Canada is correct. K check. Last question for this round, number 12. What holiday did Ukrainians usually celebrate on January 7 but was moved to December 25 in 2023 as it split with the Russian Orthodox Church? Alexa. Hanukkah. Hanukkah is wrong. Anyone can steal. The correct answer is Christmas. And that ends round number one. And after that first round, we have Earl in the lead with 40 points, followed by Samu with 30, and Owa with 10, and Alexa with a bit of catching up to do. And maraming salamat for that. And we're midway in the competition at susunod na ang round two sa pagbabalik ng K-Check. Welcome back to K-Check. Points recap muna tayo. Earl is leading with 40 points, followed by Samu with 30 points, Owa with 10 points, and Alexa, may rounds pa tayo para makahapon ka. And of course, now it's time for round two contestants. Remember, there is a twist in this round. As always, wait to be acknowledged before answering. Each correct answer is worth 20 points each, but you will lose 10 points if you answer incorrectly. Let's, Let's begin. begin. This is round two, and this is question number one. In Philippine history, who emphasized the Filipino first theme after succeeding Ramon Magsaysay as Philippine president? After Ramon Magsaysay, it was President Carlos P. Garcia. Question number two. Which literary work by Geoffrey Chaucer tells a story of pilgrims who, while traveling to a shrine, tell stories and tales to each other. This literary work is known as the Canterbury Tales. Question number three. The majestic city of Riga is the capital of which European nation? Earl. Latvia. Latvia is the correct answer. K check. Question number four in the Hunger Games saga, what is the name of the hybrid bird that became a symbol of defiance? Yes, Oa. Mocking Jay. Mocking Jay is the correct answer for the name of the hybrid bird that became a symbol of defiance and rebellion for the people of Panya. Question number five, science. By definition, a hydrometer is used to determine the density or specific gravity of a fluid when compared to what common liquid? Samu. Water. Water is the correct answer. K check. Question number six. What is the title of the 1996 film that starred singer Madonna in the title role of the second wife of Juan Perón, who was president of Argentina? The 1996 film was Evita. Question number seven. Tenzing Norgay was one of the first persons to conquer which mountain in the Himalayas? The correct answer is Mount Everest. Question number eight. 
Which song of Lady Gaga that reached 500 million streams in Spotify before the end of 2023 has a title that refers to photographers who aggressively pursue celebrities, Earl? Paparazzi. Paparazzi is the correct answer. K check. Question number nine in chemistry. What do you call a quantitative measure of a solution's ability to neutralize an acid? The correct answer is alkalinity. Question number 10. Which Russian novelist wrote the classics Anna Karenina and War and Peace? Leo Tolstoy is the correct answer. Question number 11. In music this time, what do you call an instrumental notation indicating the string, fret, key, or finger to be used instead of the tone to be sounded? Alexa. Tab. Tab is the correct answer. K check. Question number 12. Last question for this round. Also known as the Millennium Bug, what is the short name for the problem in the coding of computerized systems that was projected to create havoc in computers around the world at the start of the year 2000? This bug was known as Y2K. And that's it for round two. Points to recap muna tayo. Earl is leading with 80 points. Followed by Samu with 50 points, Oa has 30 points, and Alexa has 20 points. Our ultimate pagalingan round is next here on K Check. And welcome back, everyone. Points three ka puna tayo. Earl is leading with 80 points, followed by Samu with 50 points, Owa with 30 points, and Alexa with 20 points. The race to finish on top continues with our ultimate pagalingan round. Remember, sa ating panel of experts, magagaling ang mga katanungan. The end of this round will reveal our weekly winner. Here, correct answers are worth 30 points each at my 15-point deduction for wrong answers. Let's, Let's begin. begin. Ito na talaga, the exciting round, the ultimate pagalingan round. Let's start with Dean Mitzi. What do you call the type of traditional gold jewelry that existed in the Philippines during the pre-colonial times? A. Tamburin. B. Relicario. C. Jailworks. D. Kundan. E. Kabochan. This jewelry necklace is patterned after the rosary beads called rositas made of gold and evolved to silver, which form a floral motif. This filigree jewelry is made of thin wires and strips of precious metals delicately woven and twisted to create beautiful patterns inspired from nature-like flowers and fruits. This filigree jewelry technique is known as woven gold, a tambourine. Thank you, Dean Mitzi. In the study of ocean currents, what term describes the circular motion of water around the central point often caused by wind, tides, or other factors? A gyre. B. Eddy. C. Swell. Earl. B. Eddy. Male. Let me continue. C. Swell. D. Surge. E. Vortex. Tamu. Uh, e. Vortex. Male. Anyone can steal between Owa or Alexa? The correct answer is letter A. Gyres are large systems of rotating ocean currents, often forming circular patterns around central points. Okay, Philippine geography tayo. 
what is the present name of the former town of Bakwit in Palawan, which was changed on June 17, 1954, through Republic Act Number no. 1140. Letter A, Puerto Princesa. Letter B, Culion. Letter C, El Nido. Letter D, Coron. Letter E, Brooks Point. El Nido is composed of 45 islands and islets. It has been named by the Philippine government a turtle sanctuary in 1984, a marine reserve park in 1991, and a managed resource protected area in 1998. The correct answer is C, El Nido. Prof. Mitzi. Who was the national artist in visual arts acknowledged as the Dean of Filipino Illustrators and published his first comic at the age of 15 in the pages of Silahis magazines? A. Francisco V. Coching B. Larry Alcala C. Mel Prudencio Ma D. Malang E. Vincent Kua He was exposed to the publishing world at an early age by his novelist father who introduced him to his co-workers in Liwayway magazine. It was there that he met Tony Velasquez, creator of Keng Koi. Francisco took an interest in illustrating and apprenticing under Velasquez and taking up a correspondence in art. The answer is A. Francisco V. Coching. In the Earth's map, there are large, slow-moving currents of molten rock. What is the term for this convective movements? A. Subduction B. Conduction C. Mantle plums D. Mantle convection E. Geothermal convection it refers to the slow movement of molten rock in the Earth's mantle driving tectonic plate motion. The correct answer is mantle convection, letter D. Prof. Liu. This institution was established for the training of teachers by virtue of Act No. 74 of the Philippine Commission on January 21, 1901. A. National Teachers College. Letter B. Philippine Normal School. Earl. B. Philippine Normal School. Now known as the Philippine Normal University, the Philippine Normal School was established as an institution for the training of teachers. The correct answer is B, Philippine Normal School, Paycheck. B, Who is the Filipino painter known for her social realist and post-cubist portrayals of Filipino life and culture Notably, groups of Filipino women engaged in labor and everyday activities such as fruit markets and fish vendors. A. Anita Magsaysayho B. Ophelia Galvezon Teki C. Araceli Dansley D. Julie Luke Dalena E. Impi Pilapil She studied at the University of the Philippines School of Fine Arts under Amor Solo. She was the only female member of the 13 Moderns, a group of Filipino modernist artists. In February 21, her Tinapa vendors was sold for 84 million pesos at the Asian Cultural Council auction through Leon Gallery. The answer is A. Anita Magsaysayho. In the world of particle physics, what is the smallest and fundamental unit of matter? Samu. Atom. Male. A. Atom. B. Quark. C. Proton. D. Electron. C. E. Neutrino. B. Quark. Quarks are elementary particles and the building blocks of protons and neutrons, which in turn make up atomic nuclei. K-check. 
Prof. Lu. African history naman. Which country, formerly known as the African Gold Coast, gained its independence from British rule in 1957? Letter A, Nigeria. Letter B, Ghana. Letter C, Kenya. Letter D, Botswana. Or letter E, South Africa. Alexa. E, South Africa. Sorry, that's incorrect. Samu. B, Ghana. Ghana is a country in West Africa. In the transatlantic slave trade era, Europeans identify the region as the Gold Coast because of the large supply of and market for gold that existed there. The correct answer is B, Ghana. K, check. We now enter the last round of our ultimate pagalingan round. Let's go, Dean Mitzi. What is the traditional dress ensemble worn by women in the Philippines in the 19th century combined with the elements of both the pre-colonial native and colonial Spanish clothing styles known under the collective term Filipiniana? A. Vestido y blusa B. Barot saya C. Falda at blusa D. Traje de Filipiniana E. Terno Samu. Traje de Filipiniana. Incorrect. Oa. Baro at Saya. Designs and elements of the dress was also later worn with variations between the lower classes and the aristocratic principalia classes from the mid-19th century onwards. It literally means blouse and skirt and traditionally consists of a blouse, a long skirt, a kerchief worn over the shoulder, and a short rectangular cloth over the skirt, known as tapis. It is also known as traje de mestiza or the Maria Clara. The answer is B, Barot Saya. Paycheck. Prof. Ricky. Astronomy time. Which famous space telescope has provided astronomers with stunning images and valuable data since its launch in 1990. A. Kepler Space Telescope B. Hubble Space Telescope C. Chandra X-ray Observatory D. James Webb Space Telescope E. Spitzer Space Telescope Samu Kepler Space Telescope Mali Earl Hubble Space Telescope this is a vital tool for astronomers capturing images and data across various wavelengths of light. The correct answer is B, Hubble Space Telescope. K, check. Last question for the ultimate pagalingan round from Prof. Lu. Okay, alert tayo. Asian history. What Vietnamese city was renamed Ho Chi Minh City? Earl for the win. Saigon. Saigon's name was changed to Ho Chi Minh City to honor the revolutionary leader who had declared Vietnam's independence from France on September 2, 1945. The correct answer is Saigon, K-Check. And that's it for the K-Check Ultimate Pagalingan Round. Congratulations to Earl, our K-Check Weekly winner with a final score of 185 points. We'll see him again in the semifinals when he competes with our other weekly winners. Thanks Elaine. also. Congratulations. Thank you also to Owa, to Alexa, and Samu for joining. And to the members of our panel of experts, Professor Mitzi, Professor Ricky, and Professor Lu. Maraming salamat po. Ako po si Jules Gia. At ako naman po si Attorney Gabby Concepcion. Join us again on Monday for another round here on K-Check. K -Check.